kong tatawagin sa oras na ito ang Director ng DOST Technology Application and Promotion Institute na si Engineer Edgar Garcia. Good morning to everyone. Good morning. Ganda umaga po. First of all, my courtesies to our uh, VIPs here led by our Department Secretary, Fortunato de la Peña, to our dear President of CLSU, Dr. Teresa Alderia, of course, to Dr. Raul Divina, who is also representing uh, the Vice, uh, the Mayor, Mayor of Munoz City, uh, Honorable uh, yes, Alvarez, of course, to Honorable Vice Mayor Angelo Arcangel and the other local government officials, to Dr. J.C. Uh, Sika, who is our host region for the Regional Invention Contest today, of course, to Popoy Pagayon, the President of MIS co -op. to Director uh, Ronald Paksanghan, representing President Manny Dono of MISE. Of course, I will not miss all the regional directors who have been actually supporting the Regional Invention Contest that is spearheaded by TAPI in cooperation and collaborations with all the regional offices. In fact, this is actually the third one, third to the last one. The next is TOSD CAR, who will be holding their, uh, tomorrow, the Regional Invention Contest and Exhibit in Boto, headed by Director Nancy Bato. And the next event will be held in Palawan, that will be headed by Director Abilay. And the last one, pahabul po, sa General Santos City, POST Region 12. And I really, really appreciate and congratulate Director Sika for spearheading the joint celebration of the National Inventors Week as organized by the uh, Inventor Pagayon, simultaneous with the Regional Invention Contest. The Regional Invention Contest had a very uh, long history also. Allow me to give you a background later. But how I wish that all the National Inventors Week celebration organized by different Inventors Association should be in coordination with the regional offices so that our, minimum, our very minimal resources can be maximized or optimized in terms of promoting the inventions of our region, of our different inventors in the region. So through this, we can promote and at the same time conduct the invention contest as mandated by RA 7459. The National Inventors Week is actually an activity of the Filipino Inventor Society as actually provided in Proclamation Number 185. The Regional Invention Contest is actually an activity that is actually a prelude to the National Invention Contest as mandated by RA 7459, which is given to TAPI as an institution who should conduct the National Invention Contest. On April 28, 1992, the Republic Act 7459, known as the Inventors of Invention Act, Incentives Act of the Philippines, was enacted into law. Among the many incentives stipulated in the Act includes cash rewards as prizes in the National Invention Contest, or we call it NICE, because we are going to promote also inventions and other researches as part of the invention contest. So we have an acronym we call National Invention Contest and Exhibits. RM7459 is actually enacted, number one, primarily for the commercialization of invention. 
that is actually the primary purpose of the Republic Act 7459. And some of the incentives that are actually attached to the commercialization of invention. And this includes, among others, such as tax exemption and incentives. All the incentives that will be, get, be given in terms of the Republic Act 7459 is actually with the endorsement of the screening committee, which is actually composed of interagency, Department of Environment and Natural Resources, DA, Department of Agriculture, Department of Finance, Department of Trade and Industry. All of these particular interagencies actually recommending some actions to be taken in terms of incentives for inventors. Uh, this is headed by the chair who is actually present here today, Dr. Uh, Dr. Romulo Aldanan, who is the current chair of our A7459 Steering Committee. When we started the National Invention Contest long, long time ago when it was enacted, until in 2008, it was enacted in 1992, until 2008, there is only one National Invention Contest that is held in Manila. So, wala pong regional invention contests noon. So, all of those entries coming from the region are actually screened in Manila, in Tapi in particular. And that is really a tremendous job on the part of Tapi because we have to get a, an evaluator who can really screen those coming from the regions. When we conducted the National Invention Contest then, we have noticed that most of the entries that were actually became finalists of the National Inventions are those coming from Metro Manila and nearby regions. Why? Because those coming from remote regions or far-flung regions actually by default we're not able to reach the deadline set because of before then there is no pace to adding mails, right? So aside from the high cost of mailing, some of the entries of coming from the regions by default they lost already. So most of the winners then actually comes from nearby regions and Metro Manila. To address the issue. We conducted a clustering approach, clustering North Luzon regions comprising Dostar, regions 1, 2, 3. So, kasama pa po noon ang region 3 sa North Luzon. Then, it became the South Luzon composed of 4A, 4B, 5. So, these are the regions comprising the South Luzon. Then we have the Visayas region, which is comprised of 6, 7, and 8. And Mindanao region, comprising regions 9, 10, 11, 12, and Tarata. Pati po ang DOST A, R, and M then were included. But DOST A, R, and M is not part of the DOST system because they are autonomous. So, since it is a national invention contest, we believe that including the ARMM is really uh, important and actually necessary for a good representation of all finalists coming from the region. So to shorten it, all regions or cluster regions select their winners who would represent their cluster regions in the national convention contests. So, maganda na po yung chance ng mga nasa cluster regions unlike nung isang Filipinas lang. But because of budget limitation, take note, in 2009 and 2010, the cluster approach were conducted. And in 2009, Aside from the four cluster regions, the National Invention Contest should also be held. So, aside from the budget constraints, so isa po po yun, ano po, na medyo malaki pong expenditures on the part of TAPI. And 2010, 
after two cluster regions we conducted, we analyzed, and the, the number of participations coming from the, the regions improved. Again, most of the entries that we evaluated since one year lang po ang Pagitan, 2009 and 2010, almost the same po yung entries na coming from the regions, regional winners. No? So, if they lost in one particular contest, they can enter again. So, almost the same. So, many of those particular participants or applicants in the invention contest were actually the same. So, to give chance also to further improve their research, we decided that in 2011, we have to conduct the regional invention contest so that a good participation or an improved researches or inventions could be presented in the next succeeding year for the National Invention Contest. The Regional Invention Contest for all those winners in the Regional Invention Contest, I, I, I would like to emphasize that only first prize winners in the Regional Invention Contest categories, there are five categories, are the ones who will represent the respective regions in the National Invention Contest. The categories emphasized in all the contests in the region as well as in the National Invention Contest are the ones provided for in the law. So, hindi po namin pwede pag-rehead kasi po yun po ang nakalagay sa batas. Ito po yung mga clustering approach like invention, which is to class, Lika, which is actually for research, then utility model, industrial design, Seaborn uh, for high school and college. So all of these are actually in, uh, emphasized in the law. So that is why in the regional invention contest, to make it short, TAPI also sponsor those finalists coming from the different regions to participate in the National Invention Contest. And we normally conduct the National Invention Contest simultaneously with the conduct of the National Science and Technology Week as part of the joint celebration and also maximizing the resources that we have in TAPI. So, apart from uh, this particular reason, the purpose of why we also conduct the Regional Invention Contest is to promote the different programs of the Technology Application and Promotion Institutes. And these programs include not only those commercialization that were emphasized in RA7459, but other programs supportive of this particular commercialization program like intellectual property right protection, which is not part of RA7459. This is for clarification. RA7459 emphasizes that for you to commercialize, you have already an IP-protected invention. So in short, meron na po yun. Meron na kayong IP. But what we are doing in terms of TAPI to support the many many commercialization, we have to assist them in terms of IPR protection, prototype development, pre-testing, laboratory testing, all of these are actually pre-commercialization, which is the part of the commercialization that was emphasized in the law. The one emphasized in the law is meron po tayong ITech program, which is actually a land bank, uh, Cooper in London, cooperation with London, but we have funds for you to fully commercialize your invention. So ito po ito sa mga binibigay ng gobyerno sa mga inventor. So to promote TAPI's programs, many of my staff are here because we believe that many of those researches developed by faculties, students, have not been IP protected. We want you to protect first your IP because you have barely one year to protect them. Because once you expose it to public, you have barely one year to protect them. There are many more smarter people viewing your exhibition. So in short, 
if they know already the detail, they can file it on their own. Take note, it's first to file. But you have to be very aware that once you talk to someone and open up everything to them, they might be able to steal your invention. So the best is you have to file it already within the year. So with this, I hope that many of you will actually apply, particularly the student sector, who have been doing a lot. And I believe that based on the certificates that I have signed, majority of our participants here, similar to the other regions, majority of our participants here are students. I really encourage and appreciate the participation of all the students because from there, uh, uh, interest in research and innovations, we could encourage them to become our future innovators so that they could sustain our innovation ecosystem. Malaki po ang nagagawa ng student sector sa pag-improve po ng ating innovation ecosystem. And we have already improved our innovation ecosystem. Uh, we have been ranked already 54 from 73 for the last two years, 17 and 18, 73rd positions now. We are already on the 54th position. So, malaki pong improvement ito dahil po sa mga innovation output na atin pong kinocontribute, particularly in the academic sector and in the private sector. So, once again, I wish to congratulate lahat po ng participants sa kanila pong pagsali at sa inyong pagtangkilig sa regional intention contest. Good morning again and have a good day.